Good morning, grade uh, eight. How are you today? Today, inshallah, we are going to talk about uh, developing vocabulary, phrasal verbs connected with reading and writing. Phrasal verb. You all know what is the meaning of phrasal verb. Uh, it is uh, a verb or a word or a noun that is connected. Uh, we have a connection actually between a verb and a preposition. So any phrasal verb is like a combination of a verb plus a preposition, harf jar, such as the word look, verb, up, look up, such as read, on, look is a verb, up is a preposition, read is a verb, on is also a, a preposition so all these phrasal verbs that we are going to talk about today are connected to reading 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 books reading novels reading magazines and newspapers and writing and writing so uh, such as writing your homework writing an essay writing an email okay Let's look at the um, paper here in front of us. Okay. Here, there is a table, as you can see. Uh, we have uh, the verb and the preposition and its meaning or how can we put it in a sentence? How can we put it in a sentence? Okay. The first verb is read, read, okay, and we connect it to a preposition on, so that the word, the phrasal verb is read on, read on. What is the meaning of read on? It means to continue reading uh, so that you reach the end of the story or you reach the end of the novel. For example, he reads on, reads on, he continued reading, reads on to the end of the story to continue reading to the end of the story so we call this phrasal verb read on read on which means to continue reading a book or to continue reading a story for example i couldn't read on the book because it was boring boring i couldn't read the book because it was boring and this is the meaning of read on the other phrasal verb is read out, read out. So, عنا, read on or read out. Read on, hakana continue reading. Read out, it means to read loudly, loudly, بصوت مرتفع. You read loudly so that other can hear you. You read loudly so that other can hear you. For example, the teacher asks me to read out my essay in front of the class. She wants me to read loudly, loudly, so that other students can hear the uh, essay or the story. We have the third phrasal verb, look up, look up, look, which means to search, search. Now, when I put the phrasal verb up, look up, it means to check or to search the meaning of a word. Where do we find a meaning of a word? We find it in a dictionary. We find it in a dictionary. Okay, remember when we talked about uh, the vocabulary in this unit, read on, we said that we can use a dictionary in order to check for the meaning of words. So... The teacher asked me to look up certain words in the dictionary. Or when I read this book, the words were really difficult and that's why I checked most of them up in the dictionary. You check the, you check the meaning of a word in a dictionary and this phrasal verb is called look up, look up a word. Look up a word, yani try to find the meaning of this word. And where do you uh, check the meaning of a word, especially in a dictionary? We have another phrasal verb called turn over, turn over, which means to turn a page of a book, turn a page of a book, flip, you know, flip the page of a book, such as this, turn over the page, turn over 
the page which means to change or to turn a page of a book turn over you move to the other page we have the phrasal verb fell in fell in which means to write words in spaces for example if you have a question fill in the blanks with the correct word fill in the blanks with the correct words which means to write the correct words in the spaces in the spaces or in blanks blanks fill in the blanks fill in the right words in spaces or in blanks okay flick through flick through which means to read quickly not carefully Hala, flick through is the opposite of read on when you read on you continue reading a book till the end you read carefully while when you flick through you read quickly not carefully you read quickly the passage or the novel or the story in order to see if you are going to like it or not you flick through the novel or you flick through the book you flick through the exercise you flick through the passage which means you don't read them carefully you don't read them carefully and slowly no you read them quickly quickly okay and you do skim and scanning skim and scanning you read quickly you read quickly okay you don't read each and every line of the novel or of the story no you skip certain lines in order to reach the end or in order to know what does this book talk about cross out cross out means to draw a line through a word because it's incorrect because it's incorrect he crossed out the incorrect words and for example here i uh, write he is my friend okay now here friend is written incorrectly we don't have an e here so what do i do i cross it out cross out the word and you write it correctly and this is how do we write friend okay why did we cross this word because it was written incorrectly incorrectly there is a mistake in this word and that's why we cross it out we cross it out you put a line okay or a star or whatever on a word in order to show that this word is incorrect